Hello, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Wednesday, the 10th of July, 2019. We're using Morgan Greer Tarot for our message today. Going old school with the tarot cards. <laughs> All right, our card from the bottom of the deck is Knight of Cups. Ooh, a quest. <laughs> he's holding the Holy Grail. No, he's holding the Ace of Cups. That's an offer from an open heart. Maybe we're making one. Maybe we're receiving one. Maybe it's simultaneous. Uh, when we see our knights, though, we know they convey messages between cards. So we're going to want to know where he came from. Oh, interesting. He's not alone. He's traveling with... The Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. Temperance there, that's what I see. Those two knights temper one another. <laughs> okay, so the Knight of Cups. Uh, he's got a bit of ADD, that's how I feel about him. He'll get where he's going, but it's going to be, it's going to be a very serpentine and meandering path. He gets there. And the Knight of Pentacles is, he's measured, definitely tempered, and he takes in the whole journey. He doesn't want to miss a moment. He doesn't want to miss a thing along the way. And that can feel like delay for us sometimes. However, I feel that this Knight invites savoring. So he actually uh, steadies the Knight of Cups. Still, we want to know where they came from. And they're traveling together. <laughs> so one won't go too slow and one won't get lost. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Whoa, boy. Okay. Hello, Scorpio. There you are. That's where they've come from. Simultaneous endings and beginnings. This is a theme for us. It's showing up quite a lot lately. And we're making a lot of choices around this. And it's choosing on uh, the beautiful foundation that keeps showing up in the readings you know we've we've journeyed out of energies situations circumstances and relationships that couldn't support the frequency we desire to exist at at this time uh, people left us we left people so on circumstances jobs careers uh, all of it moved changed because we were intent on living, experiencing our happiness. So now we want to know where they're going. That was fast. Okay. Oh, very nice. The star. Yeah. This is the journey of our manifestation. Following our guiding star, following our heart. Yesterday we had the lovers in the reading. And there was a big focus on following our heart, our joy, our bliss. And here you're seeing it in four cards. <laughs> At you know, just at the start of the reading. So the star card follows the tower, as I always remind you. So we've walked away from a tower experience in our lives with nothing. We just decided to go. <laughs> we just decided to go. We didn't take anything with us. We didn't need anything because we knew we were going to start over completely. So she appears naked on the card because she's got nothing to hide. And she's walked away from it all, and she's ready to start again. Start over. Nice and fresh. So that may be the feeling in the day today. Taking, taking some time to contemplate where you've come from and how good it feels to be right where you are right now. <laughs> in your all together. Let's see what goes with it. <laughs> Two of Cups. Yeah. Another card that continues to show up in repetition for us, you know, first and foremost, this is about relationship to self. However, it is an offer. It's an offer between beloveds. It's an offer between partners uh, for career, how you are of service. The Ace of Cups is in it. And here there's an exchange. And here there's progress because he holds the Ace of Cups, Ace then too. So we're moving along. It still feels a bit like a decision and a choice here, most especially with the Knight of Pentacles being present and the Death card too. The There's a bit of mystery on the Death card. That Scorpion energy is very 
very mysterious. And my feeling here is that we're in a deep discovery with our own selves and how we are maintaining our relationship to self and then how we share that, what we have to offer because of it. And is it in alignment with our goals, dreams, and intentions? That's that's the repetitive message. That's why we saw the lovers yesterday. It's why uh, we continue to see cards like it because we are quite focused on following our hearts. Let's see what's next. <laughs> yeah, the lovers yet again. So this this is our theme this week. We're we're deciding. We're choosing. We're making offers. I feel like we're making offers to ourselves. You know we've. We've had a look into uh, some of what we've been in resistance to. I feel it came out of the new moon and the solar eclipse that happened last week. And things are under review. <laughs> what can we harmonize? What can we elevate? What, what can we change frequency with? So when we see the lovers, we go with how we are habituated to choose and what our heart's desire is. So let's check that out. Ooh. In the how we are habituated category, we have the moon. <laughs> All right. The moon is about our intuition. This is beautiful. We want to tune into that. We want to listen to the inner voice. The moon is going to shine a light on something that may have been vague for us for a while. It's going to bring some clarity to us. We're also moving toward another eclipse. We have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn near the end of the month. So we're between gateways and it's in that space that we're doing all this contemplating consideration. What are we offering to ourselves? What opportunities are we taking advantage of? And what are we sharing and offering to others? It's all about elevating frequency for us at, at this time. That's what I feel off these cards. That death card is, is a big one for that. Um, anything unlike what is harmonious, loving, and in your bliss <laughs> is something the death card is going to take care of. But it's also going to create a brand new beginning, which we're very excited about. There's an energy that feels vague here on that moon card. And... The sense of it is, if we're making choices, we just don't have all the information yet. It's on its way in, though. We will be informed intuitively. And the card in our heart's desire position, another repeat from yesterday, the King of Wands. So we are tuned into our honor, our integrity, our joy, and all of our experience. We're bringing our experience to bear on what is in consideration for us at this time. And then the next card, Ace of Wands. Okay, so the divine and cosmic gift from the universe is passion. So this knight is all about it. Excuse me, this king. He's passionate, he's vigorous, he's enduring. And then we have all those same energies in the Ace of Wands, but on offer to us from the divine. This is a very spiritual experience for us. I do see the connection here, of course, for those of you who are quite tuned into relationship, soulmate, twin flame, beloved connection. You can see it here in the Two of Cups. You see it here in the Lover's card. I won't ignore it. However, the feeling is this has a lot to do with our, our own relationship. And with this king and that ace, there's tremendous passion uh, that we are... <laughs> excited to express and however we do that it could be through our art it could be the way we are of service and it could be right out of our heart space for our beloved we're making offers we are we're committed to that because it's so connected to our happiness and our joy and that's the foundation at this time it's almost as though it's the only thing we want to consider. There's a lot more to consider, which is why we see these knights and the death card. However, the core of it is 
Does this bring more joy? Does this create greater happiness? And again, with the moon there, we're not seeing everything just now, but we will be informed and not a moment too soon. <laughs> I know there are some of you that are stomping your foot going, come on already. I'm, I would really like to see some evidence here or there's an action I want to take and I just don't know what direction. So there's a level of impatience here. And I feel the cards are saying, stay patient. Be in the divine art of allowing and this intuition that is that is coming in is um, deeply valuable to our decision making process the offers we're making the choices before us all right <laughs> we're in a chapter book here people that's what it feels like we should probably take a look at yesterday's reading and today's reading together so we can see the progress and perhaps that would stimulate a little more intuition all right angel answers if you have a question of course ask it I love this card it's true. <laughs> Don't fret. The intuition will come. The wisdom will, will appear. And the choice will be made. In divine timing. Because you're ready. <laughs> I know you're ready. Because as I said, some of you are stomping your foot. You're impatient. You're tapping your fingers. <laughs> Come into allowing. That's the big message there. Last one. <laughs> yeah. Meditation does bring answers. That could be the very moment that intuition dawns on you. So... All of you who are tapping your fingers and, you know, letting out a big deep breath of impatience, consider meditation. <laughs> I know, I don't like that message myself. <laughs> Sometimes it's the last thing you want to do. But it is the best thing to do. Okay, last card affirmation for the day is... Instead of praying for an outcome... I pray for the highest good of all. There you go. Go right to, I am allowing my highest and greatest potential to unfold before me. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Peak of the week. Enjoy it. Get out in that beautiful sunshine if you've got it. Make it a great one. Blessings.